the biggest thing for me nowadays, if I had to call like a style for myself, I would call it finisher. I mean, I like, you know, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. If I have a chance to finish the fight on the ground, I'm gonna go for it. But uh, there's like a couple like opportunities that I had like uh, the last couple of years that I dropped a couple of guys with punches and kicks. So like, you know, it's something that it's also like, I'm starting to add into my game. So I'm a finisher. At first, first foremost, like I'm a finisher. If it is on the ground or standing, I'm gonna try to get a finish. I don't like to go for decisions because that's where I lost most of my fights or my, most of my losses came via decisions. So that's one thing I always try to avoid. But, uh, you know, people watch my fights, they know that I'm gonna be going for a finish. I'm not gonna be one of those guys that are gonna be getting a takedown, try to, like, you know, lay on top of people. I'm not gonna be one of those guys that are gonna be trying to stop people on the wall, or guys that try to, like, shadow box or pretend that they're throwing punches so they can win on points. I'm one of those guys that's gonna be, like, you know, I might go slow in a fight. Patient, slow, but I'm looking for a finish, and most of the time I'm gonna be getting the finish. So, I think that's somehow entertaining, you know. Some people might see, like, a ground game, and they might not understand what a guard pass is or you know where a sweep is but they know where a submission is they know when somebody taps and that's what i'm going to be always looking after in my fights So far, you know, like I have no complaints about like the, the, the training camp that I'm getting now. Like I'm training here for, for striking and I'm getting like a excellent grappling training with Robert Drysdale, which is also like, you know, if not like uh, one of the top three, like, you know, he's one of the very, he's one of the very best grapplers in the world. And uh, that's what I'm getting my grappling training now, which is awesome. Cause like, if you think about the last three years, I haven't trained with anybody at that level. You know, the grappling, the guys that have been pushing me grappling, are my students or the MMA fighters, which are nowhere like close to like Robert's level. So training with him for this camp is gonna be great. And hopefully, you know, I'm gonna keep training with him for my next fights too. And maybe that's gonna take me to another level too, as far as, you know, my grappling for MMA. My dream, it's like, you know, it's become like a top 10 fighter first. That's all, you know, I always go by stats. My first, like, I had like so many dreams, like, during my career, you know, become like a Jiu-Jitsu world champion, it happened. Become like a ATC world champion, it happened. Then I, you know, I want to be in the UFC. I'm not even counting the first time when I was in the open fight, I'm counting the second time, and it happened. So, like, now I have another goal, which is to become like a top 10 fighter, which could happen as long as I get two babies, I'm gonna take that top 10 spot. And after that, you know, let's see what happens. My goal is to keep fighting. Like once I become a top 10 fighter, just to fight like other top 10 guys, and then finally fight for the title, and then win the title, and then win the title. But you know, I always have to go step by step. So I cannot like, you know, try to like chase some things at the same time and never accomplish anything, so.